Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general reading. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot today, and I'm doing a Celtic Cross spread. Cross watchers, you are welcome as long as you have good intentions. Uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it to fit. If it's not for you, just try a different message. And if you guys are interested in getting a personal, I will be posting later today when I am available um, to start doing those. So if you guys are interested, keep an eye out for that. But let's go ahead and get into it for Leo. Give me just a second so I can pick it up. <laughs> I've been dropping cards all day. <laughs> all right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are um, currently just focused on work right now, um, working things out, your spirituality. Some of you are tarot readers as well. You're working hard on something. Yeah, and there's definitely growth. So whatever you're working on, keep working on it. There will be fruits of that labor. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> as soon as I said that, yes. Ace of Swords. Big fat yes. Confirmation for someone. All right, let's see. What do we got? Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy here. Wow. Woo. Hey, Leo, spice things up, why don't you? This is totally Leo energy, too. You manifested this, didn't you? Some passion. Some passion coming in. Some of you guys are having a really fun and wild night, okay? Straight up. <laughs> For others of you, though, um, you're really passionate about what it is that you're working on. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, if you love what you do, you never actually work a day in your life. Ace of Wands. <laughs> That's the phallic. Some of you guys, like I said, you're going to have a very um, steamy night. <laughs> this is your foundation, though. There's a new something here. A new passion, a new spark, a new interest, a new hobby. Some of you guys might be new to tarot. I feel like you're picking it right up, though. You've done this in a past life. It's It comes easy to you. That's what's up. Let's see what else we got. Recent past is the Nine of Swords. You know, it's always the Nine of Swords that brings us to the tarot, isn't it? Something so bad that we're like, let's get the answers. It's, tell me. It's like hamsters. They always die in a dramatic way. What is with that? And then how we, how everybody ends up coming to tarot. It's always a dramatic, like, it's almost like you got pushed into, <laughs> why not? I tried everything else and I'm not getting any answers. Let's, let's try it, you know? And now look at you. You got your own cards. Yeah. You've been initiated here. Um, you went through a dark night of the soul. Some of you guys could have just been really lonely in life. Even if you weren't like alone, doesn't matter. Crowning you, Ace of Pentacles. You manifested this. You got two aces here. One in your foundation and another one in the crown. Now, some of you guys are thinking about the kind of money you can make. Others of you are just thinking about the seed that you're about to plant or that you just recently planted. Where can this grow? Where can this go? That's interesting. I said grow. Um... It's almost like you kind of, have you guys ever looked at a plant and wondered, I wonder how it's going to look when it starts growing? Like, which direction is it going to grow? Is, is You know what I mean? Like, I wonder how it's going to grow. How many leaves? How many flowers? How tall? Or if it's like vines, you know, which, which way is it going to want to travel? Ivies? Grapes. <laughs> Let's see. Five of cups. And it's time to let something go, guys. In the near future, in the very near future, it's going to be time to let something go. It doesn't feel like it's actually that big of a deal, though. Like, 
if that's what you got to get rid of in order to move forward and be happy, then have it. Like, I, it just, it has that kind of a feel. Maybe because it's a minor arcana and not a major, so a major energy. This is a minor thing. Something's got to go. For some of you guys, it's trash night. <laughs> Somebody was just about to forget. Totally random side note. Sorry, but that's that's Leo <laughs> for you, I guess. All right, let's see. Fears, worries, concerns we have before cups. Yeah, you're just worried that, you know, you're not going to be happy ever again. You know, it, it, it never gets better than this. You know, you've already had your high of life and it, it, things will just never be the same. You'll never be that happy. And that's all bullshit. Those are the intrusive thoughts that you don't listen to. You know, when you take a, a pan or a pot off the stove and you're like, I could touch that right now, but you don't, right? Because you know, that's a dumbass intrusive thought. Okay. Just making sure. How's Leo being viewed right now? The Nine of Pentacles, ready to receive. You are ready to receive the fruits of your labor. You seem very happy, though. It's interesting. I wonder if that's a mask or if you're starting to get your, your you back, your glow back, your um, essence back. Your want to survive. Your your need to fight for life back. You know what I mean? Your your <laughs> I'm hearing Celine Dion. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> oh man. I could, oh my gosh. There were those nights when the wind was so cold. The tears turned to dust. I <laughs> just knew my eyes were drying up forever. Forever. All right, I gotta stop. I don't want to get in trouble for doing too much of it. I don't think I will. I didn't actually play it, but still. <laughs> So the goal here, we have the Six of Swords and the High Priestess. You bet your ass. You got that right. You got that right. Pisces energy. Your goal is to let your intuition guide you out of this. Your goal for some of you guys, they're... You know what? It's interesting. For some of you, you are the tarot reader. Okay, and your guides are helping you. You might even have a couple people. It's very subtle, but it's making the difference that you need, you know. Um, for others of you, there's a reading that breathes life back into you, that reminds you, you know what, I am. I am capable of being happy again. What the fuck? Like, it's, it's, it's your perspective. It's your choice, you know. Are we going to wake up today... And, and stub our toe regardless. You're going to stub your toe, right? At some point in time, you're going to stub your toe again, right? So are you going to get all upset about it and be like, oh, that fucking hurt. Fuck this table. We got to throw it out. Or are you going to be like, you know what? I'm glad I got that out of the way. Now I can have a great day. Or now I know I'm having a good day because something's trying to fuck with me already. Like, you know what I mean? I guess it just kind of depends on where in the spectrum of psychic you actually land but you bet your ass that's the goal i don't even want to say it's the goal i really feel like that's the outcome let's go ahead and pull the outcome yeah because it's your choice it's your decision nobody gets to make that but you nobody gets to tell you to be happy or be sad nobody gets to tell you how to mourn nobody gets to tell you how to rejoice Nobody gets to tell you how much alcohol determines if you're actually an alcoholic or not. Ho, ho, ho. Let me poke a bear with a stick. Why don't I? Let's get the outcome. I need to stop. Yeah, you are recovering. You are absolutely recovering. Take it easy on yourself, though. All right? Be gentle with yourself. You've been through some stuff. 
and my goodness, you've got some really, really beautiful energy surrounding you. Definitely have angels surrounding you. It's all over here. And you absolutely have new things coming in. And I think that's helping as well, right? For some of you guys, you needed a completely new start. <clears throat> so you get a new job and you move to a new place and you start uh, going to new places to eat, right? Or you uh, start meeting new people. Like whatever it is, however many, whatever combination. This newness is what you needed to kind of have that, um, that oomph back, you know? That zest, that zing, that thing that makes you, you. Every freaking Leo is so unique and different in their own beautiful way. There are bland people on this planet that need you to be you because you're going to spark joy in their life. Right? But then there's also an aspect of you need you to be you. Otherwise, you don't feel right. Something's off. And then it's hard to get that back. Right? Whatever it is, you know the C point. You know the C point. You know where things started going wrong. Or, you know what I mean? You know where you did something you probably shouldn't have. So moving forward, we are not going to do that. If it's something that needs to be addressed, address it. If it's just something that you need to remember so the next time when it happens, you can act accordingly, all right. Take the knowledge and utilize it as wisdom later on if and when you need to. Also, I want to point out the high priestess in the goal, she doesn't tell people more than she needs to. So whatever you need to keep your mouth shut on, Leo, do it for you, not for anybody else. Keep your secret or whatever it is that you're working on. If you don't need people knowing right now, then don't. Don't let them find out. Don't tell anybody. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I will see you guys when I see you. If you're interested in a personal, stay tuned later on. I will be posting that. And um, until next time, you guys, stay beautiful.